And so it seems that the San Diego Padres have added another horse to the stable of guys that they have in that bullpen with Keone Kella. And so John Heyman put out a post on Twitter saying, Keone Kella in agreement on Padres deal, pending physical slash intake. So Kella was on and off the IL for most of the 2020 season, and I believe only pitched for two innings. So it really shows that his health did play a big role in the amount of innings that he was able to pitch in 2020. For majority of his career though, he's been a very dominant and reliable guy to go to in the bullpen. And what is good is that he not only had success with the Rangers earlier on in his career, but he went over to PNC Park with the Pirates, and he was just as good, if not better. And so in terms of the financials, it seems that he might have gotten one year three mil, and I'm not entirely sure. I was seeing those as rumors, uh, so until something official comes out, I don't want to say anything. Uh, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments section down below. But if it is indeed one year three mil, I think that is a very, very uh, club friendly contract for a guy who has been dominant over the course of his career. And let's not forget to mention that Keone, I believe, is around 27 years old. So he's not exactly an old player. He's still fairly young. And so he's got some years left on that arm for what it seems to be. And so hopefully he can pitch for the Padres for a while and we'll see if he gets an extension from the Padres based on the 2021 season and how it works out. But if Keone is willing to really uh, accept the one year $3 million offer, then if they want to extend him, I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem. But could he have gotten more? Uh, I don't know, it's debatable uh, because of the 2020 injury. But I think that his chances of returning to form are very high. Uh, I think he's a very underrated pitcher. Uh, you don't hear a lot about Keone Kella. And I guess it's just because you hear of a lot of dominant closers out there. Uh, one of the top ones being Liam Hendricks, who signed with the White Sox. But there's also Trevor Rosenthal, who I believe is still on the market. Kirby Yates, who's now in Toronto. So there are a lot of guys that are on the radar, uh, but Keone sort of falls below those guys. And I don't see why. He's a great pickup. But I like the addition of Kella, along with Melanson, who I actually mentioned in a previous video. I'll leave a link to that above. But the Padres are adding a lot of bullpen options. And I think that's good, especially since uh, at the beginning of the offseason, losing Rosenthal, losing Yates, they really did lose some legitimate options and bringing in some guys at a lower cost uh, with hopefully just as good of potential and a high ceiling really does um, help, help the Padres financially as well as talent-wise. But in terms of a rating for this signing, I would probably have to give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing keeping me from rating it a 10 out of 10 is the injury itself. Uh, but like I said, I have the belief that uh, Keller will come back strong and be able to pitch some really high leverage innings for the Padres this upcoming season. But overall, if you like this type of content, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for some future content as well as hit that notifications bell so that you get notified with every new video that I do come out with. And also I will leave a link in the description to my Instagram if you would like to follow me over there or check it out. I do post baseball stuff as well as YouTube uh, updates and so if you want to check me out then go ahead. But as always thank you all for watching. This has been Major League Talk and I will see you in the next video.